Well, hello everybody. Here we are for day three. All right, so this one is more of a seasonal set versus like full on Christmas, which I'm hoping to do, you know, some of. So the green I've used is Scott Topic, which is, I think this is retired, but it's a lovely green glitter, dark green. You should have that in your like um, necessities or um, what's a good way to call it? Just the stuff you can always use again and again. Like most art sets aren't like that, but your solids and glitters are definitely like that. So this one is Scott Topic. And then underneath it, I've used an old Tuesday I had and it's called Rio Red. That was from 2018, so it's not one we can get our hands on anymore, but it's a lovely dark, dark red, and I wish they would do, you know, if they're not gonna do it again, could we do something like it again? So I did my slant with my red and my slant with my green, and then I used my favorite nail tape to put the gold on and OPI Plumper. And I was thinking I should, not the next one, because I think the next one we're gonna be doing some French tips, but the next time I do slants, I will make sure I save a finger for you guys to see. I totally spaced it out, so. All right, now we've got, and I've warmed this one, you guys. It's for a ring finger. So we're taking the plastic off, and this isn't something I've done before where I've done stuff on the nail before I actually have put the um, strip on, but I needed more, um, I need more hands. <laughs> so we're going to try to do it, you know, we're going to try to do it on the nail and are on the strip and then put it on my nail. We'll see how it goes. Okay. So I'm using the gold of the nail tape and the red and I love, I love these nail tapes and Amazon, of course. I'm pretty sure I have them linked below though. So here's what we're hoping we're going to do. I don't even know how we're going to make this work, but we'll see. Okay, so I want to make kind of a, a subtle plaid of sorts. So we're going to start with, uh, we're going to start with a crooked gold because that's how I would start everything, of course. That there, and I'm thinking the best way to keep things from attaching before I want them to is going to be with orange sticks. So I've got a couple of those. And then we're also doing the super thin red. Let's see how that goes. How's everybody doing, you guys? How is the 25 days of nail mistreating you? Is everybody liking this, um, this angle that we're at, I feel like it's good. I feel like it matches the old angle. It just takes a lot of tinkering, you guys. It took a lot of tinkering for me to sort things out. Girl, I had to go to a to go to a YouTube video to even figure out how to use the dang thing. Okay, so there we go. And then I'm going to cut that piece because I'm going to use it. So now we're going and now this you guys again was off a nail polish based off a nail polish design that I'd seen so under the red <laughs> bless you buddy no under the gold and over the red so um, and I feel like I've got to get it down a bit because otherwise it's gonna be too tall for my figure. Don't mind Ethan working on stuff. You guys are gonna be hearing a lot of that, aren't you? Okay, over the red, under the gold. All right, and then we need a gold a bit more. This better work out. I'm gonna be sad. How are you guys doing Christmas shopping? I got a lot to go. Like, 
for me it's first live through willow's birthday second christmas shop all right so i cut another little piece of nail tape this time gold and now the gold is going under no let's see under the gold i just need like four more hands and this would be easier under the gold and over the red but at least all the tools come in handy for this tweezers definitely and then there we go okay two bits done and now the next one is a red and it is over the red and under the gold to grandmother's house we go so no over the red so we can push this red down so we're done tinkering with that under the gold what did i do with it i thought i cut a piece did I not cut a piece? Ugh. Yeah. Here's my problem is I lose everything. And you could, I'm sure you could do this on your finger, you guys, but I don't have that level of, I just need more hands involved. And this one I want more up here because, well, I mean, I don't know. We'll see, right? Okay, and then peel that up. Trim off all our nail tape excess. Okay, alright. So far, so good. And then I know we're going to need to clip this one because we don't want to pull our nail tape off. Oh, I think it might have worked, you guys. Over further, though. There we go. Yep. Oh, hot dog. Oh, look, but that one went too far, but that's okay. The nails are... A little too short to hit that piece but that's okay and if I didn't have the removable top coat on I probably could have lifted that tinkered with it rearranged it but um, I don't want to do that with the removable top coat because I probably wind up pulling it up so Oh, I actually really like that, you guys. I'm, a, I'm hot dog impressed. So when you use nail tape or... Oh, look. There's my little piece of gold I was looking for before. I wonder if I can sneak it in here. Let's see. Or maybe I could put it down there. Since... That would work. Okay. Hot dog. Okay. And you've got to clip your nail tape just back a bit. You don't want it like hanging out the sides. Otherwise it's still going to catch on stuff. And you know when you use nail tape, nail stickers, um, decals, anything like that, you've got to do the top coat really good. Or you're going to wind up with them sticking out of your hair. They're going to be gone by the next day, if not the same day. Yeah, I like this one a lot, you guys. And the OPI Plumper is beautiful over nail tape. It really adds a lot of dimension. I see, I need to... I don't know if I can do that, but my... Yep, it's 
a little nail tape trim. Super cute. This one feels very um, Marcy friendly. I think she'd like this one. There we go. Okay, I'm super sold on this, you guys. So cute. Okay, let's see here. And now I still, of course, you know, you can see there. I gotta do some filing and such. But they're lovely. And it's, you know, tis the season without being overly Christmas. And I felt like, well, kinda. They still kinda match this one. This one's gonna change tomorrow, I think. And then I'll try the peel off base coat under it just to see how many days it'll last. There we go. Hopefully this inspires somebody. Be pretty with blue and silver, you guys. Really pretty. Alright. Have a super great day. See you tomorrow for day four.